Hey everybody, what's going on? Slick D Gamer, Scott W. Perry here. Welcome to another edition of Let's Check It Out. And uh, for this one, I wanted to talk about one game franchise that's been near and dear to my heart, one that I like a lot. Um, I know I have talked a lot about wrestling games and I love uh, WWF, WWE wrestling. Actually, wrestling games as a whole, I do like them. But uh, there was one franchise that I did like a lot that became uh, a staple and when it first came out in 1993, I was 16 years old and it just boggled my mind how something so realistic, realistic looking at the time and so violent could be in the hands of a lot of gamers. And for that, I became a fan of the Mortal Kombat franchise. Uh, so much so that um, in my collection, um, you know, when I, I worked at a, a retail store and when I uh, got my check, one of the first things I bought was the Genesis version of uh, Mortal Kombat, which we all knew had the blood code in it. So that was uh, awesome. So I wanted to make sure I had this in my home. Um, but as I got older, I wanted to make sure I collected, uh, I wanted to make sure I had Mortal Kombat in my collection. So of course I go from Genesis to Super Nintendo, to Game Boy, Game Gear, and uh, even, the Sega CD version of Mortal Kombat. So I'm, I'm, I have a little bit of a thing for Mortal Kombat, as you can see, uh, to the point where for, you know, for Genesis, I have the complete trilogy because, you know, pretty much cheaper. Here's Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, and of course, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo after they learned their lesson, uh, the first game where they said, oh, it's going to be like green blood and it's not going to be too bad. And when nobody bought the Super Nintendo version, uh, they decided to amp it up on with Mortal Kombat 2. So those are most of the games I have. And then, of course, last year, uh, they came out with a mini arcade version of Mortal Kombat, which I have two of. I have one here in my game room and one uh, at my workstation, which I haven't been to in almost two years because of the pandemic. But uh, I know every time I left work, I noticed it had been played quite a bit. So this was good. But with everything that I had with Mortal Kombat, I felt it was incomplete. And I felt I needed to have something that personified uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, my, like, my, my love for it, and the fact that I never fully got to experience it in the uh, true rendition that it did. And for the holiday season, I had enough in a budget for a arc an arcade one-up. Uh, I had two. I had uh, the Star Wars one and the Marvel Super Heroes one. And last week I went and had the budget for a third one and I decided uh, the one I picked out was the Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up Legacy Edition. Now the reason why I chose this one is it has 12 games in it, 12 games in one. Um, I got it at a pretty good discount at Best Buy. Um, normally it retails now for about $540. I got it for $400 plus I used $100 at Best Buy points. So... Um, so I managed to find deals like that. And it was interesting because um, trying to figure out which one I wanted to get. The 12 in one deal, the fact Midway is pretty good. And the fact that I can play Mortal Kombat the way I've always wanted to play it in my game room, uh, in a way is a uh, nice, uh, in a way it's 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 a nice uh, wish fulfillment. So with that said, I did assemble. It took me two and a half hours to assemble. I didn't want to bore anybody with a uh, quick time or a sped up video with it because uh, it was just me doing it and you don't want to hear me cursing and using uh, a lot you know we we'll leave that to other people um, but I managed to assemble it and I got it working and let's go check this out okay so first here's the uh, look of the uh, cabinet with the you know glorious uh, top uh, art at the end it does light up um, there's the uh, controls specifically uh, for Mortal Kombat and the other games on here and you know with the setup we you know it's they did a nice little like simulated coin op thing it's a photo I know the newer ones they have like a little it looks a little bit better but I kind of like they did that in there and on the uh, bottom we have the Mortal Kombat logo but I really like the side of this uh, if you can see it has the nice uh, my finger got in the way uh, we have a nice Mortal Kombat uh, 2 uh, display with uh, Ra with uh, Raiden and on the bottom of the risers, you can see uh, Mortal Kombat 2. So uh, overall, very, very impressed with this. And, uh, you know, really has a good look. The controls are really good, how to put them together. Like I said, it took about two and a half hours uh, for me to put this uh, all together uh, from the box. All right, so uh, gonna be doing some single-handed work here. 
Uh, we're gonna turn this on and as you can see immediately, we got a little nice light up here. Our arcade one up is going. Let's tighten this in a little bit. Okay. Combat on my stand. <laughs> All right, so as I said, this has 12 games, so we're just going to try uh, a few of them. But just to go through the list, we have Mortal Kombat, okay, Mortal Kombat 2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, so the first three games were represented here. Uh, the other games, are, it's a nice lineup of the Midway, um, of, you know, the Midway uh, collection. Uh, Tubin, which was kind of popular in the uh, late 80s, you know, you're basically a guy in a tube just relaxing, uh, which is great to meet a game based on my uncle. Um, Gauntlet, which was a nice four-player action game, um, you know, came out in 85 from uh, really Midway Atari. Uh, Wizard of War, I don't know much about. Um... You know, Joust I knew a lot about. I played a lot. There's been a lot of versions of Joust out here. Um, Rampage, which is a fun game. Uh, the Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson's not in this, but, you know, uh, really, really fun game of its time. Kind of a King Kong Godzilla clone where you just uh, wreck buildings and everything like that. Um, root Beer Tapper, which uh, originally was Tapper, uh, sponsored by Budweiser, but they had to make it Root Beer for the kids because, you know, drinking is bad, I guess. Um, one of my personal favorites as a kid, Defender, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and, uh, it's great to have this on here. Uh, you know, I haven't played it in so long, but I'm looking forward to playing it again. Uh, Bubbles, I don't know much about. I know it wasn't a big hit when it came out for Midway. It kind of came out right around the time of the crash of 83. So, uh, arcades weren't as frequented. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a sweet enough game. I think you play like a uh, sponge trying to clear up bubbles. I, I forget. And finally, Paperboy, which is a game I played a lot. And that one's going to be a little difficult to uh, to navigate through. So, um, apologize for that, Sam. We're going to try Mortal Kombat first. Fight. Fight. All right. And right away we see... You know, 1992 it was uh, golden years. And um, this game, actually, I can play online against people, which um, I don't because they'll kick my ass. So I am still... Uh, I'm used to... I'm so used to playing the console versions of this that... Kano. Kano. Uh, I'm so used to playing the console versions that... Uh, it's going to be hard to remember how to do it on the arcade. Uh, but... It is a perfect re replica, I think, so far. Uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna go with Scorpion. I don't know how to do a lot of the moves on here, so I can't do fatalities or anything like that, so bear with me, all right? But we're gonna have a match here with uh, New Kang. Oh. Ah. As you can see, I'm not doing too good. There we go. All right, all right, that's it. And you can see I, I, I need to uh, be a little bit better at this. I'm also crouching so you guys can get a... You know. Oh, there we go. Blind Squirrel finds a nut sometimes. You know, at the time, the uh, digitized graphics were like, pretty unique. You know, it's funny. All right, so I did manage to win that one. Uh, that's a nice little uh, start. All right, we're going to go right to... And like I said, when you do it, it says resume game, reset game, or quit game. We're going to quit game. All right. Fight. Let's take a look at what everybody considers their favorite Mortal Kombat 2. Fight. All right.
500 years ago, Shang Tsung was banished to the Earth Realm with Diego Goro, he was there, and everybody knows this. So, yeah, Mortal Kombat 2 was a huge, like, everything you can do with the predecessor you can improve on is, is, is better. And, um, we're gonna, we're gonna go with, uh, let's go with my boy Jax here. Yeah, I like Jax as the American flag. I always, uh, used to joke it was Ron Simmons. Uh, back in the day, you know, the all-American badass. Oh, I don't know what I did there. I've rarely played as Jack, so... Alright, see, I'm not an expert at this, so... Lower that volume a little bit. There we go. All right. I mean, I finish him and he puts me, and there we go. I am now acid. There's my skull. Okay, so I have a lot of improvement to do on Mortal Kombat 2, it looks like. So. But it looks amazing. Uh, all right, let's check out Mortal Kombat 3. And then they have like a nice little screen, kind of give you a thing on everything. I mean, these controls are made just for the Mortal Kombat games. It's when you play the other ones that uh, it's going to get a little difficult. But, all right. Lifelike violence, strong. Contains selected graphic scenes involving human-like characters engaged in intense combative activity. So we have a warning for all the kiddies, you know, as they play Grand Theft Auto and uh, all that stuff. So Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which I haven't played as much as the other two. Um, we got a nice little uh, intro. Oh, that's right, Noob Cybot. So, <laughs> number two, WWF. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, all right, four player, two on two combat. All right, uh, eight player tournament combat. We're just going to go with Mortal. Um, yeah, there was a lot more selection on this one. Uh, let's. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Uh, I forgot about some of these selections. Let's go. Looks like the Predator. Uh, all right. Well, I ran out of time, so they gave me uh, choose your destiny. Not novice, of course, because I suck. You know, I admit I am. I love gaming, but I'm not an expert gamer on anything. I never claim to be uh, an expert. So when I do my playthroughs. Who am I, Kamal? Ah, I got Clyde Barker. Where the hell is he? Oh, there we go. Man, novice is novice, dude. It's like, we're not... Well, this is actually a good game to kind of start on, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, I said that, now I'm getting my ass kicked. Cabal wins. Cabal is kind of, reminds me of uh, Clive Barker's Cabal, so we'll go with that. All right, not bad. All right, so a nice little win there, so... Uh, oh, that goes right from one. And I forgot Shang Chung was a uh, playable character in three. Did anybody like the movie that came out earlier this year? I kind of did. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was fun. You know, wasn't by any means perfect. Um, I thought it was better than the '90s movies. That's for sure. Um, yeah. All right. Hold on. And I'm going to reset it. You hold down the player one button and reset it. All right. So 
fight. The Mortal Kombat games are good. I'm not going to try all 12. I want to try... Uh, I'm going to try Rampage next. So, uh, this is a classic, classic arcade game. And, uh, you know, it's basically uh, a ripoff of uh, King Kong and Godzilla. We're going to go with George here. Uh, turkey, hot toast, some hazardous items, cactus, poison toaster, some of the bonus items. All right, so you punch items to grab them. Okay, so we're going to play as George. All right, Experimal, experimental vitamin has ill effects. That sounds familiar. Okay. So basically you're just smashing stuff. And you just want to make sure that the building is good enough. This guy's annoying me. There we go. I crush him. There we go, I get the helicopter. Alright, that building's down. Oh, I ate that guy. Up, oh, up. Oh. Building dropped and I was on it. You gotta like a game where you can eat humans. Up, oh, I got electrocuted. get off quick. There we go. Alright, building is good. <laughs> it's the little subtleties of this game I thought were really fun. You know? Um, I hope people can see this well. Uh, eh, I'm still getting to learn some of the controls on this. Um, like I said, I did put the joystick together. So sometimes it works, sometimes it's a little disjointed. Uh, I've got to tighten it a little bit. So as you can see, yeah, I'm getting, I want to get the fruit, I want to get the fruit, low hanging fruit, all right, well as you can see, all right, so that's Rampage, very, very fun. Defender. Oh, Defender was a classic. I, I played this a lot. I have uh, the Atari 2600 version. Um, oh, okay. Still got to figure this game out. There we go. Okay. All right, well, I just killed somebody. All right, uh, obviously I'm a little rusty from not having played it in nearly 40 years. All right, very, very rusty in this game, and I gotta get used to the controls, but it is Defender, and I'm sure I, can, I will get the Master at some point. Um, root Beer Tapper, it's basically, um, PTSD for bartenders, um, so I won't do that. Uh, Paperboy will give it one more shot, and Paperboy's gonna be tough, because he used to play it with the handles, but, uh, this is a game I, I love to play. I actually, um... Paperboy, stopping at nothing in his valiant effort to save the sled from TV journalism. Okay. I mean, it is the arcade, the graphics look great. Uh, like I said, I gotta get used to the controls because I'm so used to the handlebar. So... Yeah, you see, like I just crashed immediately. <laughs> so, uh, not exactly the best at this, but... Yeah, um, I suck. Uh... I gotta get better at this. I mean, I already... Oh, I still got one more. Okay. Got one more life. I guess. Screw up. I didn't mean it. All right. Okay.
Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I got, I got hit by a car. All right. Um, like I said, I gotta get used to it, but I do like how it, I do like how it looks. All right. Put that game. Let's try. I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try. Let's see. Uh, I mentioned bubbles. I didn't talk much about bubbles, so we're gonna take a look. I, I'm, like I said, I could do all twelve. I'm not too sure. I don't want to make this too long of a video. Um, I feel like I am already. Uh, but I believe. Okay, bubbles. All right. So you're a bubble, and you gotta avoid. You gotta avoid the 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 spot. Ah, oh, okay. You gotta avoid the sponges. It's a simple game. And the bugs. This kind of looks like my sink. Oh, okay. The big bug will, will get you. Okay. And you go in the middle and... Did I... Oh, I guess I cleaned it. I don't know. I feel like I need to tighten the joystick. I kind of feel like I'm all over the place with this. And... All right. Game over. Well, it's... Cute game. Um, I don't mind playing it a little bit more. Um, all right. But overall, um, like I said, I, I tried about half of the games. The other half are, are pretty good. I think it's a nice selection for anybody. Uh, you know, nice variety. Nice, uh, really good thing. But it has the first three Mortal Kombat games, which uh, I love playing. And it's really cool to play it uh, in a setting. So I'm really, really uh, happy with this. So, um so that's the Arcade 1-Up Legacy Edition Mortal Kombat Edition. Okay, so I gotta say, uh, I'm very, very happy that I uh, purchased this. I thought, uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, a nice variety and nice uh, selection. And just to be able to get to play the first uh, three Mortal Kombats in the way it's meant to be played uh, in my game room, it's something I've always wanted for a long time. And for my midlife crisis, this is perfect. Uh, you know, it's a nice compliment right now. I have three. I feel like I have a game room right now. I mean, I got uh, two counter one-ups and I got three, uh, you know, three standard ones. And I'm, and I'm looking to add more because, uh, well, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, this is what midlife crisis, uh, does to people. Uh, but no, I mean, anybody who's a huge Mortal Kombat fan, um, I know, uh, they had the original one that came out with just the three. It's kind of discontinued and there were a few issues with it. Uh, this is really good. I really enjoyed it. And I like the, uh, other versions that came out with it. Um, there is a similar looking one that has a defender, uh, defender look to it, uh, to the arcade. I, I chose the Mortal Kombat because Mortal Kombat's more iconic in my opinion. Um, but, uh, if you see one that has defender, it's the same exact thing. Um, you know, if you're just looking for like a better showcase, you know, I, of course, Mortal Kombat's good. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to learning to play it more in the arcade because I'm a little, uh, you know, my, uh, my skills aren't as what they used to be. I'm no longer 14. Uh, I'm no longer like 10. And in, in, in the case of Defender, I was four when it came out. Um, so I'm no longer that young age. So I'm a little bit older and a little bit more experienced, but my uh, reflexes are not as much as they used to be. Um, you know, but overall, if anybody's looking to add a perfect arcade uh, for their game room, for their uh, home office, for anything that they want to do for uh, experience, it's something that you know you have friends that are going to want to play it, uh, I would recommend this. And, um, you know, the cool thing is I've already had a few friends already telling me that they want a different game for it. I've had one tell me that they want to play Rampage. I once said they want to play Defender. I've one play, they want to play Mortal Kombat 2. They want to know if they can learn if they can remember how to do the fatalities, the babalities, and the friendships and all that for Mortal Kombat 2. And, uh, you know, and even uh, one I know who liked uh, Gauntlet. So, um, something for everybody. I, I heartily recommend it. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I would give it that high. I think it is uh, a very, very good arcade cabinet. Um, well worth the price of admission. Um, arcade one up does it again. I am uh, very impressed with their library. I know for some people it's very pricey, but... Um, you know, one, one thing that they do that I like, and I didn't record it, is sometimes the, there is a certain joy you get in building it. Um, I built all three of these. So when I was building it and putting it together, there was like a certain joy, like, oh my God, I'm making my own. It, it's almost like you built it yourself. It's like a do it yourself kind of thing. So it's a nice little nuance I think they, they put with it. Um, but anyway, 
that's all I have. Um, definitely recommend the Arcade 1UP uh, Midway Legacy Edition Mortal Kombat Arcade. You can pick it up at arcade1up.com, uh, bestbuy.com, walmart.com. Um, they do sell it for 300 without the riser, um, and, but this doesn't light up if you want to get with that. Um, you know, it's a nice option, and I would definitely consider getting it if you want it for your room, all right? All right, that's it for another edition of Let's Check It Out. I am Scott W. Perry, Slick the Gamer. Thank you, and uh, have a great holiday, everybody. Take care.